Today I will show you how to open up a USB power bank to either repair or salvage 18650 cells and in my case both. So I have a RAF power USB power bank that has a broken USB charging port. This is a very common problem with all USB power banks. The charging port is small and it doesn't take much for it to be broken off. The USB port on this power bank is broken off and it's rattling inside. In the past, I often just use a knife, a screwdriver, and brute force to pry out the plastic cover. It's an extremely arduous and dangerous process, which takes a lot of effort and time and sweat, sometimes blood. On average, it takes me a good 20 minutes to half an hour just to pry it off. These things are not made to be opened, so they really glue the plastic shells together. Sometimes while prying it with my screwdriver, I poked myself in the hands and blood splattered all over the place. If you have ever opened one of these power banks, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. I have opened a lot of different kinds of batteries before, but this is hands down the hardest battery to disassemble. So after I pry the cover out, this is what it looks like. The cover is usually bent and the plastic is cracked and broken beyond repair. If I just want to repair my power bank, I need to pull the cover back when I'm done. But in this case, it's not possible. Well, of course it's possible, but it's going to look extremely ugly. And in the past, I also tried to whack it onto the concrete floor to break up the plastic case. This is the method I use there with laptop batteries with good success. The problem is with laptop batteries, the plastic casings are not glued tied together. So it's a lot easier to open up a laptop battery compared to the USB power bank. But I tried it anyway on the USB power bank and because the plastic on the power bank was thicker and the glue was tighter, I had to whack it extra hard on the concrete floor and it made a big dent on the 18650 cells inside. Luckily, it was just a little bit dense and the cell is still functional. If I had walked it a little bit harder, that might have had shorted the cells and that would have exploded like a bomb. So today I'm going to show you a different method in which only takes a few minutes and you don't have to sweat or bleed as much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my oscillating tool to cut out the case. You can also use a Dremel tool, but this requires some precision cutting. An oscillating tool is much better for this. You have to be very careful when you cut out the case because the 18650 cells inside are very close to the plastic case. You want to cut it out just a little bit first and stop to check how deep you have to go before you cut deeper into the plastic case. This is a very delicate process and you have to be extremely careful. If you cut too deep and it happens to cut into the cells inside, all hell will break loose. Alright, so it's time to cut with the multi-tool. I have a wrap power battery pack and for this one it's got a top cover and a bottom cover and you want to cut the bottom cover not the top because on the top cover where it has a button here when you press on it will show you the LED lights to indicate the state of charge of the battery the top cover is where the main board is attached to so you don't want to cut the top cover Right. This is bottom cover where nothing is attached to. We want to cut the bottom cover first. And I'm going to cut along these lines here all around. And then that will make it easier to break apart. And for the multi-tool, I'm going to use a round blade. And for the speed, I'm going to use speed number 2 out of 6, which is low speed. The top part of the battery pack is where I can cut deeper because that's the part where it's not close to the battery cells. And see here there's a gap here. So this part here is the safe part where I can cut deeper and I can cut through the plastic. So here it is, you can see the deep grooves going along the bottom of the unit.
And now I can use my screwdriver and just going to pry it open. It's going to be easy now. It should come out. The only thing that's sticking it together now is the glue that's stuck between the cover and the battery cells. There you go. Comes out nicely. Very easy now. See there? Just like that. The double sided tape that's due to stick the battery onto the case. It's stuck on there really hard. So I have to use my heat gun to heat up the surface here and that will make it easier. Whoa! Wow, so hot! I accidentally touched this. Crazy. Anyway, here we go. So here's the cover, it's still looking nice. It's nothing broken, it's no crack or anything, and I can put it right back without any problem at all. So now I can either salvage my battery and remove the battery out, or in this case, I can get in here and fix my USB port here. So now, after I get everything repaired and put my battery back, I can put the case back together and it will go in nicely and easily okay and then I can use my hot glue gun and seal the gap here around and unit is good as new so there you have it that's how you can remove a plastic cover from a USB power bank in a very short amount of time it only took me about good five minutes to remove this and without any struggle Tears, sweat, and blood. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.